caves, what could lie in those dark, rocky crevices? Treasure? Ancient artifacts? There is potentially an untold number of discoveries waiting to be found in the complex cave systems that stretch all across our beautiful planet, with many discoveries made in caverns, hollows, and other caves every year. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three of the most interesting cave discoveries. Thirty-three creatures found in ancient cave system. What sorts of secrets hide in yet undiscovered underground cave systems? If a cave were to be sealed from any outside interference for millions of years, what would lie inside? Due to a discovery in Romania in 1986, we have an idea of just that, and it's a great insight into the kind of adaptations life makes in order to survive. The Moville Cave is a cave near Mangalia, Constanta County, Romania. For the past 5.5 million years, the cave system has been cut off from the outside world, cutting off fresh air from ventilating through the caves, slowly creating a perfectly sealed capsule full of toxic gases. And yet, despite the inhospitable conditions for human life, an entire ecosystem has been thriving in the Moville Cave for millions of years. The ecosystem is based around chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis due to the specific atmospheric conditions in the cave. Remarkably, 33 new species were found living in the Moville Cave. While a total of 48 species were found in the cave system, the 33 newly discovered species were examples that are not found anywhere else on Earth, meaning they only exist in the specific conditions of the Moville Cave. Amazingly, these species have been developing in the cave system, totally isolated from the outside world, for longer than humans have existed. The kinds of animals that were found in the cave included small creatures such as worms and shrimp. There were also plenty of bigger creatures like scorpions, spiders and invertebrates. This range of different sized species means that the cave was able to be self-sufficient, with a food chain that is perfectly balanced and feeds back into itself. Being cut off from any natural sunlight, the cave system is pitch black. Because of this, the cave's unique ecosystem has evolved to traverse and survive in total blackness. Likewise, because of the toxic air that permeates the entire Moville system, all of the species in the cave are examples of chemosynthetic beings, meaning that they take the toxic gas and convert it into energy. All of the creatures in the cave are light in pigment and have no vision. With long antennae and limbs, the species in the cave use their extended bodily characteristics to feel across the cave floor to allow them to hunt and survive. The Moville Cave is a great example of how different factors can affect evolution over time. Specifically, the unique species illustrate how sunlight and the elements in our atmosphere have affected our evolutionary journey. It's not known exactly how the unique ecosystem came into place. A microbiologist from the University of East Anglia said, it's very likely that the bacteria have been there a lot longer than 5 million years, but that the insects became trapped there around that time. They could have simply fallen in and became trapped when the limestone cast dropped, sealing the cave until it was discovered again in 1986. Croatian scientists find 30 new species in caves. Some of the weirdest forms of life exist in deep regions of water. Some of the craziest forms of life exist in dark, damp caves. So what happens when you find new species in underwater caves? The answer is some of the weirdest and craziest creatures discovered in modern history. Deep underwater in a Croatian cave, Scientists made an amazing discovery of 30 unseen species of creatures. After spending over two years studying the deep waters of lake caves in the Croatian National Park of Dalmatia, the team were delighted to find such a rich and unique set of biodiversity hidden deep below the water's surface. Since the caves are deep below the water, very little light reaches the bottom. This lack of light has resulted in many of the creatures evolving a ghostly white pigment and almost translucent in appearance. This particular cave is full of creepy crawlies. Four types of beetles were also discovered, as well as a translucent snail. 
Spiders were even found to be part of the isolated ecosystem. Some of the new species also include an eyeless cave salamander that uses smell and touch to navigate around the cave systems rather than sight. This is another evolutionary development, as the species that live in these underwater caves have no use for eyes in an environment with little to no light. Croatian paleontologist Kazimir Mikulinic, who worked on the project, said the following about the discoveries. These are our rare animals, which are small and live underground. We found new species of Coleoptera, Diplora, and there are likely to be more new species which will be discovered in future. While the find is an amazing discovery for biological science, the scientists are hopeful that even more undiscovered species are active in the deep waters of Dalmatia and are continuing their search into the future. New Species of Human Discovered in a Cave in the Philippines The history of the human species is as equally rich and complex as any other species on Earth. While we Homo sapiens ended up being the only surviving examples of humans, there are many other species of humans that have existed over millennia. In 2019, the rich human species grew just a little bit larger thanks to the discovery made by a team in the Philippines. Homo luzonensis, the small human species, was found from a small collection of bones, including seven examples of teeth. The discovery is the third of its kind on a Southeast Asian island to be host to a discovery towards the history of the human species. Armand Miares, an archaeologist from the University of the Philippines Diliman and leader of the Luzonensis project, said, For a long time, the Philippine islands have been more or less left out. This, however, has shown to be the wrong way of thinking, and the island nation could be host to much more than scientists initially believed. Yasuki Keifu, a paleoanthropologist at Tokyo's National Museum of Nature and Science, also said, This discovery highlights the remarkable diversity of archaic hominins once present in Asia, in a way beyond my expectation. For a long time, Asia's role in the history of the human species was considered to be well understood. Paleoanthropologists knew that ancient human species travelled across the continent to areas such as Indonesia by using land bridges to the more isolated and remote islands we know today. However, some areas were considered to be too difficult to cross for humans with rudimentary tools and no form of sailing or water travel. Luzon, where the new discovery was made, is one of these remote locations, far away from the mainland of Asia. It has never been connected by land bridges, so the belief was that study in the region would be pointless, with teams never digging deeper than two meters in the hope of discovering human materials. Researchers in 2004 blew that idea out of the water with their famous Hobbit discovery, a short species of humans that lived on the Indonesian island of Flores up until 50,000 years ago. In later years, even more discoveries of human fragments were made. Excavations yielded part of a femur, as well as finger and toe bones and teeth, all belonging to three distinct human individuals. The ancient remains show a type of human with a unique mixture of ancient and modern characteristics. For example, the teeth are small and shaped much more similarly to those of modern-day humans, but one of the upper premolars, found by the archaeologists, has three roots, which is a characteristic present in less than 3% of the population today. Similarly, one of the uncovered foot bones shows a likeness to those belonging to the Australopithecines, an ancient group of human family relatives to which Lucy, the famous Australopithecus fossil, belongs to. Paleoanthropologist Michael Petraglia from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History states that an artifact found back in one of the 2010 discoveries illustrates that the species of human present in the Philippines were hunters and toolmakers. When discussing the potentially new species of humans, Petraglia says, If rhinos can swim and get to places, certainly we can think of that. Erectus, Theresiensis, and Luzonensis not necessarily just swam, but at least rafting, if not boating. It's just pure speculation, but you could posit that and make some convincing arguments. Scientists are hopeful that Southeast Asia holds more fossils yet to be discovered and that their understanding of human history could soon be expanded even further.
But what do you make of these fascinating cave discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.